Few things were more important to Bo Schembechler than beating the Buckeyes. He skipped seeing his doctor this week because he had to talk to the Michigan team. He did that and we're told the message was typical Bo. Bo retired from coaching after the 1989 season, but he was never far from the program. On the night he announced he was stepping away from coaching back in 89, we put together a special broadcast here on Channel 7. It was my privilege and honor to document his on-the-field accomplishments as head coach of the Wolverines. become a college football legend. Bo Schembechler's teams have won 234 games, with 194 of those coming at Michigan, where he has coached since 1969. A new fella comes in with new ways of doing things and, uh, and demanding different things that they hadn't done before. But we've got a great bunch at Michigan this year. One of his biggest victories came in that very first year in Ann Arbor. Coaching against his mentor, Woody Hayes, Shem Beckler and the Wolverines upset the unbeaten and top-ranked Buckeyes 24-12. That personal battle would continue through the 1978 season, with Bo winning five of those classic matchups to four victories for Woody. The 1973 game ended in a tie, and in a controversial decision, Big Ten athletic directors selected the Buckeyes to represent the conference in the Rose Bowl. It took Schembechler six tries to finally win a Rose Bowl game. The breakthrough came in the 1981 game against the University of Washington. Butch Wolfolk rushed for 182 yards and scored once, and Anthony Carter caught a seven-yard touchdown pass from quarterback John Wangler. The Wolverines giving Schembechler a 23-6 victory. Five times I've been out here, and um, my team and myself have been lower in a snake's belly. Millie told me that time. when you... One year later, Schembechler faced the biggest decision of his career. Texas A&M came calling, offering a lucrative financial package in an effort to lure Bo away from Ann Arbor. After heart-wrenching consideration, Schembechler announced his decision. I uh, debated it, as you know, longer than I thought I would. And I, I came to the conclusion that there are things that are more important to me. And... Uh, what well, I'm from Michigan. And uh, with that in mind, um, I'm staying where I belong, right here. With the decision behind him, the victories and championships continued. And on November 22, 1986, Schembechler became Michigan's winningest all-time coach. Fittingly, the milestone victory came against Ohio State. The objective to beat Ohio State, we accomplished. Yes! Yeah! There is no Cohen for the yeah! Year. has had a history of heart trouble. He missed his first Rose Bowl game after suffering a heart attack. And twice, Schembechler has undergone major heart surgery, most recently in 1987, when a quadruple bypass operation was performed. But in typical Bo style, he returned with his game face on. But let me tell you something. Michigan's no cream puff. Don't you ever think that. Anybody knock it in the Counts us out in 88, making one hell of a mistake. Schembechler added the duties of athletic director to his already demanding schedule in the spring of 1988, but football still came first with him. Only an opening loss to Notre Dame has marred Schembechler's 21st season as coach. The Wolverines put together 10 straight wins to earn back-to-back -back Big Ten titles and secure his 10th trip to Pasadena for the Rose Bowl. For the players, this was special. And it was very special. It's both special for me and the coaches, don't get me wrong. But we don't have time to celebrate. Shen Beckler on the sidelines is a man in motion, in charge. He's fiery, in many ways, bigger than life. It's that visual image of Bo arguing with officials, working for his team, that many will keep of Shen Beckler when he takes off his headset for the final time.